Hey guys, welcome to my discussion on visual analytics using Tableau. So today we're going to work on a chart called pie chart. So this is not a, this is a very uh, basic kind of uh, chart that Tableau provides us. But for our example, we'll be working on a different pie chart, which is also known as a uh, sunburst. So, so sunburst pie chart is speciality is it has two layers, the first layer and the second layer. So in our example, we'll be working with product category and subcategory. So the idea behind creating this chart is whenever we'll hover a mouse on the first layer of the pie chart on any of the product category, the product subcategory will be automatically highlighted. So let's start with our example. So in order to create this sunburst pie chart, I'm using this store sales data. And in order to create the pie chart, you need to click on this automatic option and select the pie chart option from here. You can drag the product category over the color mark and the sales category on the angle mark. You can also increase the size from this entire view option in this preview section and you can increase the size from here a bit for better interaction. Now, this chart looks good. So in our next step, we'll, we'll sort this product category option in terms of sales. So in order to sort this product category, select this product category, click on this arrow button and select the short option. So once we select the short option, there will be a pop-up window from where we can sort this product category in terms of sales. So we need to select the field option from sort by and we can see the product category has been sorted in terms of sales major. Now that the product category is sorted, let's create a set category for this product category option. So in order to create a set category, click on this arrow button, select create from this drop down, and go to the set option. Now let's, let's give this particular set category a name. So in this pop-up window, give this name as set category. And for now we can select the furniture option for creating a set category, click on okay. So we can see a set category has been created over here. Now it's very important for us to tell Tableau what kind of action this set category should perform. So in order to define an action for the set category, go to this arrow section, select this create calculated field. So we'll use a small piece of a function in order to tell Tableau that this set category should perform this particular action. So we'll tell, tell Tableau that if a, this set category is selected, then it should either return a product subcategory or it should return the product category. So let's name it as category to subcategory. And let's use an if else statement. If set category is selected, then return subcategory. Else return product category. We can end this statement and we can click OK to apply this particular function. So there is some mistake over here. OK, so there we should not be any equal on the equal sign over here. So if set category is selected, then product subcategory should be returned or else product category should be returned. So this particular piece of code will actually tell Tableau that whenever we are going to select a product category, it should either return a product subcategory or if there is no product subcategory, the product category should be returned. You, should, you can click on OK and this particular piece of code has been implemented under the dimension section of Tableau. Our next step is to create a dummy access so that we can create two pie charts because Sunburst pie chart has two layers. So the first layer will be a set of pie chart and the second layer will be a, we have the second set of pie chart. So let's create a dummy access for now. In order to create a dummy access, we can create it by creating an access over here. And we can see a dummy access has been created. We can also change the view and the size of this pie chart a bit bigger to make it look good. We can also create a duplicate access in order to create two pie chart. 
Now we can see two charts has been two different pie chart has been created in terms of product subcategory. Now our next step is to convert one of the chart among these two chart into a product subcategory pie chart. Now that we have got both the charts, let's convert one of the chart into a product subcategory chart. So let's select this particular chart and you can bring this category to subcategory of work on the details to create a drill down on this particular chart and select the color option for this chart. And we can see this particular chart is ready to become a product subcategory chart. So this piece of code has actually converted this particular chart into a product subcategory chart. Now that we have defined the category to the subcategory in terms of colors. Now let's create some worksheet actions. So in order to create a worksheet actions, go to worksheet option over here, select the action option of, from here and let's create an action. Clear, click, click on this add to action. And name this as update category. update category select the sheet on which you want to perform the action from here you can select the set category because we have created this set in order to perform this particular action on the worksheet only so our criteria was that whenever you're going to hover your mouse over the product category the product subcategory should be highlighted so running action should be selected as hover and you should remove all the values so that the pie chart values are clearly defined click on ok click on OK again and your action sheet is ready. Now the next step is to add both these two chart into a single chart and highlighting both the charts with the help of borders and with the help by adjusting the size of each of the chart. So in order to do that we have to convert one of the chart with the help of dual access option of W so that one chart is easily engraved in the other chart. So remember guys, dual access option is always present in the second pill in the column section. So you need to go to this arrow button and select a dual access. So the moment we select a dual access, we can see both the charts has been engraved into a one chart. We can synchronize this access for better understability. So click on this access and select synchronize access from here. You can also synchronize this actual remove the header from this action and you can see a single pie chart. Now we can adjust each of the pie chart in terms of size so that both the pie chart is more clearly visible to us. So we can see both the charts are clearly visible to us. We can create a border for each of the pie chart so that it is more appealing in nature. So click on this color option in order to create a border select the border from here and select a white border for the first pie chart the same thing you can do for the second pie chart you can select the color mark and go to this border option over here and select a white color from here so both the pie charts are quite easily visible now so we can see our sunburst pie chart is ready so as the actions that we have created on this worksheet, the criteria was whenever you're going to hover over any particular product category, the subcategory you can see are automatically highlighted. The same thing we can do for this furniture product category and you can see the colors or the subcategory under this furniture option has been automatically highlighted. So this is a typical example of a sunburst pie chart. So this kind of pie chart is actually not available in Tableau by default, but yes, Tableau has a capability of creating custom visuals with the help of dual access and by creating sets and creating actions on your worksheet. In the next segment, I will discuss about some more chart which are not available in Tableau, but we can create them with the help of dual access or by with the help of certain inbuilt Tableau functions. Thank you for watching this video guys.